Hi guys, I know it's been ages since I last made a video but I wanted to do a real quick one because I went to Berlin with my girlfriend for four days and I actually found quite a lot of video games there um, I wasn't planning to pick any up but uh, still I did and actually quite a, quite a bit first I want to show you that guys this uh, pamphlet here it's for the video game museum in Berlin pretty cool place if you're ever in Berlin go check it out on our second day there I uh, saw this video rental place and I saw that they were also selling some DVDs so I checked and yes they were also selling some video games so I picked up Bully for the Wii for $3.99 next up Tenchu for the Wii also $3.99 as you can see they're X rentals with stickers so they're pretty beat up but I hope they still work and last, a game I never heard of before, Calling by Hudson Soft, also for the Wii. The next day we went to Tempelhof Park, which is uh, actually an abandoned airfield. And uh, I read on the internet that there are quite a lot of um, electronic shops nearby. So I went to check them out. I, uh, found one that sold video games and I picked up uh, Gun Valkyrie I have been searching for this game for ages and this was actually still um, sealed I broke the seal sadly it's a bit uh, damaged right here in the corner but that's okay I paid uh, 9 euros for this one normally I don't pay that much for an Xbox game I uh, pay like 1 to 3 euros at max but I've been searching for this one for such a long time I only hope it's also in English then I found a copy of uh, Castlevania Adventure in that shop it's pretty beat up also we've been looking for this game for quite a while so for 5 euros in a shop I decided to pick it up lastly I bought Odama for the Gamecube um, this is one of those games I always regretted not picking up in the past. I remember this being 8 or 9 euros in most shops at the end of the GameCube's life. But I had a Japanese GameCube at the time and the Japanese version only supports Japanese language commands because you actually need to shout orders to your army with this microphone here. It's actually a weird cross between uh, strategy and uh, pinball. I actually been looking forward to playing this game since 2006 when it came out so I'm super excited I um, can finally try it out the guy wanted I think 14 for it and I could haggle him down to 10 so in total I paid 24 euros for these three games which is not cheap but as you know it was a shop and you know, these are three games I've been wanting for a very long time. Last day, today actually, we went to the Mauer Park flea market, which is a really big flea market right in the middle of Berlin. It's also not only a flea market, but you also have food stalls, there's some entertainment. It's actually really nice to hang out. I thought I wouldn't find any, find any games there. Lo and behold, I did. The second boot I ran into, I found an American cartridge. And I found also Marco's Magic Football boxed. It only doesn't have the inlay. This one I never heard of. I uh, also never heard of that movie. It's apparently a movie with Robin Williams. And apparently it's a very shit game. <laughs> but because it was, uh, you know, an American cartridge here in Europe, I decided to pick it up. And Marco's Football I already have on the Mega Drive, but you know, a box at NES, SNES game, I just couldn't leave it there. She had some more games, but they were all sports or games I already owned. Then, I didn't find anything for quite a while, but I saw a Game Boy Advance lying around, and she also had some games, and one of those games was not a Game Boy game, but a Game Gear game, Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. I already have this one on the Master System, but n now I have it also for the Game Gear and it was only 3 euros. Then, 
I found a booth that was selling a lot of video games but the prices, they really knew their prices they were like people who sell just popular stuff, they sell the retro video games, leather bags and also Polaroid cameras which seem to be very popular in Berlin and they had a ton of really good stuff but it was all also all very expensive in total I paid 30 euros for this lot these two games and also this one Shadow of the Beast for the Mega Drive I already own this one for the Amiga but you know a cartridge is just much more handier to play and it has such cool box art as you can see it's complete in the box Shadow of the Beast they wanted 10 euros for this one then for these next two they uh, wanted 15 each but in total I haggled down to 30 so in the end I paid 10 euro for each maybe it's too much but I plan to make these covers let them get printed in professional quality so the games will look like uh, they're complete because they're really nice games amazing bars for the Mega Drive which I've never played before but I heard is an amazing beat em up and the other game is also a game I've been looking for for ages it's Rocket Knight Adventures for the Genesis uh, sorry Mega Drive the manual is here but the cover is missing and I still have uh, an empty book uh, box here so I can make this one a complete copy they also had for example Power Strike for the Master System but they wanted 40 euros for it they also had um, Flink but they wanted 99 euros for it so I think with these three I got three amazing games uh, which I've been wanting for a very long time and now I have them at a pretty decent price and I found them at the flea market so no shipping that's always a plus lastly on my way to the airport I actually found this game disc <laughs> on the ground in the rain it's a Call of Duty World at War for PlayStation 3 and the amazing thing is that there are not a lot of scratches on the back which for finding a disc on the ground is pretty amazing I guess well see you guys next week hopefully then with a big full video for you guys to enjoy